Hello students, this is Mr. C. Our story this week is The Mysterious Giant of Barletta, an Italian folktale adapted and illustrated by Tommy De Paola. This story is set in the town of Barletta, Italy, in Europe. This town is not fictional, and there really is a mysterious statue in Barletta that stands almost 18 feet tall over the town. The statue has been there at least 700 years, and no one knows where it came from. As you study this story, think of questions about the, the town, its people, and the strange events that happened there. Let's review the key vocabulary you will see in this story. First word is giant, a huge, strong, imaginary creature that looks like a human. Mysterious, very hard to explain or understand. Pedestal, the base on which a statue stands. Square, an open area in the center of town. Statue, an image often of a person or animal, usually made of stone, metal, or wood. And weakling, a person lacking strength or power. Let me point out that the word giant being used in this story is a noun and not an adjective. There's many giants I can think of, but one of them is the Jolly Green Giant. And of course, who can forget these San Francisco giants? Mysterious. If something is mysterious, then we don't know too much about it. it. It's sometimes mysterious to me how I can lose my keys and then find them 10 minutes later sitting on the kitchen table. Pedestal is simply the base of a statue. The Statue of Liberty has a very tall pedestal. Square. The meaning of the, of the word is a gathering place or an open area in the center of town. A famous square that comes to mind is Times Square in New York City. Statue. There are many statues all around. I already mentioned the Statue of Liberty. There are other famous ones. Weakling. If you are called a weakling, you shouldn't allow it. And you should find out why. A weakling is a person that's not very strong. Okay, so now's the time where we're going to learn some Italian words that are in this story. You'll run into these. Now, I got to warn you, I don't know Italian, but we'll try our best. Buona notte. That means good night. Bona fortuna means good luck. Minoscolo means tiny. Debole means weakling. Che bella festa means what a wonderful party. Grazie means thank you. Okay, so hopefully you're ready for a little vocabulary quiz. Let's begin. A person that's not very strong may be called a wimp, b strong man, c old lady, or d weakling. A person that's not very strong may be called a weakling. Remember, that's not what you want to be called. Number two. A giant is A. Someone sitting in front of me in a movie theater. B. A small, meek person. C. An imaginary creature that is huge and strong. Or D. A member of a California baseball team. A giant is an imaginary creature that is huge and strong. Number three. A pedestal is the base for a statue, what my students put me on. C, a key for a bike. Or D, a type of whistle. The correct choice is a pedestal is
what my students put me on. Just kidding. A pedestal is the base for a statue. You need to remember that. A pedestal is a base for a statue. Number four. If something is mysterious, many people will know about it. B. No one wants to know about it. C. It is something that's hard to explain. Or D. Then it is also scary. If something's mysterious, it is something that's hard to explain. That's why we like mysteries. Next, a statue is a giant, B, an image of a person or animal that is three-dimensional, C, when I stand still and freeze, or D, usually where pigeons do their business. A statue is an image of a person or animal that is three-dimensional. Remember, it can be made of wood or other material. Next, a square is a quadrilateral, an open area in the center of town, a boring person, or D, a place to put the statue. Remember, words can have multiple meanings. In this case, a square is all of them. But a square in this story is an open area in the center of town. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the story. And now it's time for your spelling words. I will say the word and then I will use it in a sentence. Number one, girl. I met a girl in a red dress. Girl. Number two. Clear. The sky is clear now. Clear. Number three. Her. Rosa lost her book. Her. Number four. Turn. Please turn around. Number five. Dark. Rain fell from a dark cloud. Dark. Number six. Work. I work hard at school. Work. Number seven, smart. Keisha is a smart lady. Smart. Number eight, word. Did I spell a word wrong? Word. Number nine, hurt. I fell and hurt my knee. Hurt. Number 10, serve. Who will serve my food? Serve. Number 11, north. He went north on his trip. North. And number 12, third. I am in the third grade. Third.